The indirect approach with Chantel is not magic dust. It doesn't mean it's going to work every time, but she appreciates the fact that you're not right in her face, giving her warnings, making demands. Right, Chantel, I don't want to have to take your phone away from you. You say to her, I don't want to take the phone away from you. It's honest. It sends her a clear message and gives her a clear, albeit loaded, choice that if she doesn't put it away, you will be forced to take it. By gently moving the pen towards her and the paper in front of her, it doesn't mean that automatically she's going to pick them up and start working. You're sending her with your nonverbal cues a gentle message. I need you to engage in the learning and I need you to be part of this class. That's really good, Lucy. By using next door praise, you're not trying to highlight other students over Chantelle, but send her those gentle messages again. This is the required behaviour, this is the expected behaviour. I know it's chilly in here, everyone, but I really appreciate all those who came in and took their coats off. The indirect approach is not an exact science. Simply because you're reinforcing the routines for Chantelle using other students doesn't mean that she's going to change her behaviour immediately. So, should we get started? Shall we get started is an assertive phrase. It's inclusive, we. Gentle and encouraging. What would make a really good opening line? She's not about to become the best student in your class this lesson, but she's got the pen in her hand, she's refocused on the work, and you have half a chance of engaging her in the learning. 